Hello there, Aries, and welcome to your Oracle messages. I hope you're doing well out there, Aries. And of course, we're going to be finding out what you need to know, Aries, for your current situation for Aries and Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, Aries. So some of you guys, you might be feeling a little bit of pressure or there just may be a lot of focus with finances and career. Um, and yeah, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now, Aries. So I do see a situation where you do need a trust, okay? Now, some of you, Aries, you could be <clears throat> finding yourself, um, you know, coming into a situation where we have more ease and the pressure is easing up when it comes to your career life, your finances, um, or something that has been, um, you know, consuming you, okay? Um, but the situation is calling you to have faith. There's something that's happening here in the regards of trusting the path that you're on and also trusting what's happening in your love life, okay? Let's find out what else you need to know when it comes to your current situation for uh, Aries. Another card about trust here, listening to that inner guidance and that inner voice, because it will always guide you correctly. So some of you, Aries, you may be questioning or maybe there's some doubting right now, <clears throat> you know, with whatever you got going on and focused on. Um, and I encourage for some of you, Aries, if you do feel a lot of pressure with work, um, try to find a a path that can allow you a little bit of breathing room, okay? Because you may be focused way too much on work or money, you know, whatever is going on here. Um, and so we may need to just kind of loosen up and loosen our grip and allow things to flourish because they are flourishing for you. So some of you, you need to trust that, you know, your garden, you know, when it comes to knowledge, money, whatever you need is growing here, okay? And listen to that inner voice of yours, because I feel a lot of you, you might doubt that inner voice, or there may be just a lot going on where it's hard to even hear that inner voice. So if you do feel like there's too much uh, things going on or, you know, too many other influences at play, try your best to um, step away from things that are too noisy for you so that you can hear your inner voice. But a lot of you... Uh, this is validation that, yes, your inner voice is guiding you correctly here, okay? Uh, what else for Aries? And Aries, this is a general reading, so if you find the messages don't resonate for you at all, check uh, your sun, excuse me, check your moon, your rising, or your Venus signs, okay? And uh, we're going to be finding out more about your current situation. All right, deeper. Okay, you are not finished and you are not yet done. Dig deeper and deeper. The best is yet to come. Hold on, hold on. Man, this is almost like the wheel of fortune. Oh my goodness. So, oh, we got some big happy changes up ahead here. So Spirit is saying, hang on tight, Aries. Things are uh, about to turn around for you. You are not yet finished. So keep digging deeper here. And it's funny because I feel that this is really about your inner voice, digging deeper in your soul, um, you know, reconnecting, uh, unwinding, unplugging and connecting in with your higher self, your um, with the source, with spirit, God, Jesus, universe, whatever you believe in, um, because this is what you're tapping into. OK, and it's quite cute here. Right. Uh, the situation is calling you have faith, okay? And the best is yet to come. <laughs> You're going to need to hold on. Uh, what else for Aries? Music too, Aries, is a um, big thing uh, for you. So music is essential for your health, your healing, or to put you in a state of joy. We got children, childlike, innocence, fun. Okay. And we got a courting man. Okay. Now, some of you Aries, you could be embodying like a knight type of energy here. Um, and I do sense like a knight of pentacles. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, 
yeah, there's something new and innocent to come into. So trust some of you guys about what's happening, especially in regards of your love life, because we do have a courting man, but um, you need to put this in your situation, Aries, because some of you, it's a courting woman, but there's not, you know, a courting woman here. But anyhow, well, actually, there's the dating queen. Never mind. <laughs> anyhow, uh, childlike innocence fun. I'm seeing some, some type of brand new or maybe innocent energy at play here or that you're attracting towards you, okay? This person could be um, a professional male or a female. Put this in your situation. Uniform, okay? Um, they could have children for some of you, um, or children is connected here with, um, bringing you two together. Um, but the thing about children is also a new phase, a new beginning, a sense of fun and innocence. Um, it's quite cute here too. So I feel that there's a real, um, endearing energy at play here. Uh, what else for Aries? Oh, look at that true gem. We have valuable quality jewelry. Yeah, I'm just picking up more about, you know, attaining like your material things and possessions and gifts. Um, maybe there's something, an item that you're going to be getting here, Aries, or that some of you guys are truly cherishing, right? Um, because you are magnetizing, uh, you know, like this true gem energy towards you because that's what you are, that's what your energy is um, exuding here. Okay. So we do have some, um, a situation here where, yeah, a lot of you guys are finding something here about yourself, valuable quality jewelry. Um, yeah, I feel that some of you guys might be attracting um, a person towards you that, um, you know, they've got a serious side to them as well, because there's someone that's a professional here. Um, and they may like the finer things, you know, in life, because they may can, they, they may be able to afford that and, or whatever it is. Uh, but there's a true gem that's, um, coming into your life, Aries. Okay. Uh, what else for Aries? Mm, we got something about unrequited love. So Aries, there may be someone that you're going to, that you have felt unrequited love here and we could be having a heart to heart conversation. There may have been a situation where there was a breakup or there was just a misunderstanding or, you know, uh, we were having a hard time here with someone that means a lot to you, or at least it did at one time. Okay. Um, so I do feel that there's something, some kind of truth or closure or getting that clarity and peace that between you and another here when it comes to a heart to heart conversation and being able to honestly discuss what you need to discuss here without holding back. Okay. So there may be a, a reveal here as well about what's really been going on behind the scenes with someone. So yeah, I feel you're going to be getting ready to have a deep conversation here with someone. Okay. Um, what else for Aries? You're going to be <laughs> okay. You need to just let go of whatever it is that you could be addicted to. Okay. Some of you guys, it could be stress, worry, work, whatever it is. Okay. Or some of you, you could be finding out something about, um, you know, being too caught up in impulse, um, impulsivity in a way, or in a sense, or maybe being able to, um, you know, be cautious of another that could do that towards you because sometimes that can end up into like toxicity when there's just too much of that. Okay. But I do see that there's something here about codependency here. Um, passion. Let's get a little bit more though with this passion card, <clears throat> that fire sign coming through. What do you want Aries to know about this passions card? This is like the Ace of Wands, Aries. So some something is uh, going to be revealing itself to you or someone. Let's get more about this passion for Aries. Okay, there it was. Oh, you know what, Aries? This is okay. I felt like, and maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like Libra might have had a similar thing here in the fact that there's someone that's returning from your life that. <clears throat> 
either there was like a hard time of getting chemistry with one another or you had a lot of chemistry, a lot of passion um, and something just went overboard, something happened, but you know, someone is returning here. So from your past, so you're going to be having a heart to heart conversation with someone. And I feel that there, it will bring you a sense of peace. Um, and so you can really move forward with wherever you're at. Okay. Um, so we got someone that's returning from your life. This could be someone that was hard to let go of or someone that's, um, you know, having a hard time letting go of you. Okay. Cause I'm getting that six of cups energy. Some of you Aries, um, it might be time to like get out a little bit more or do something where you can be a little bit more playful. Um, I do feel that you are attracting someone towards you Aries. Um, that's going to help you guys get into a, a, a very youthful energy here so that you can uh, shine. I mean, look at this. And a lot of you areas need to trust that you are definitely valuable and a true gem. Okay. Uh, what else for Aries? Okay. The situation involves marriage. Yeah. Some of you guys, it, there could be an ex here or someone that you're married to currently here. So I got, you know, there's thing about trust here and some of you, you're going to be hooking up <laughs> and uh, maybe taking it to another level here. So there's a strong sense of commitment with you and another. So you need to trust what's going on in your love life. It's time to take back control of your life. Okay. So you're, cause you're going to be getting to know. Okay. So this is really strong on the finances and career here. So some of you, again, you may need to continue releasing stress, worry, worries, or extra work that maybe you don't need to take on. You just need a little bit of break here. Okay. Relieve your pressure in any way that you can. Um, and just know that you are divinely protected, um, because you're going to be getting ready to, you know, get to know someone here at a deep level here. Okay. And your bond will deepen, which will only help strengthen, um, you know, where you're at and, uh, your relationships with yourself and others. Uh, what else for Aries? Acceptance. I'm learning to accept. Yeah, there may be something here that we're hung up on. Some of you guys just focus on your health and, and do things. Um, some of you, maybe something didn't work out here too. And so, um, the best way to alleviate yourself is to just nurture and take care of your own vessel, um, that enshrines your soul. Okay. The more you take care of yourself, um, the more that that will mirror out into your outer world. Uh, but I do feel for your health Aries, some of you may need to just really let go of ruminating thoughts or, um, find a routine that you can, um, activate some healthy, uh, situations, right. Um, and just allowing something to be without regret, worry, um, figuring it out. Right. Cause you know, you're right here in this moment anyways. And so whatever has changed has already occurred, but you certainly can do something here when it comes to, um, bettering yourself. So I do feel a lot of you Aries are already doing that, um, accepting or coming into a place of acceptance because I feel that your heart is really expanding. Okay. Uh, what else for Aries? Humor. <laughs> oh yeah. Some of you guys don't take things so serious and for your health, you know, laugh at things, right? It might be hard too, but this is why this children card is coming up. You see how silly they are. They don't take things so serious. And maybe there's something here about feeling like you hurt one another. And, you know, just like children, I think children, they, they can really, they, they forgive easy for the most part. Right. Um, and so, yeah, just cho choose to focus on the lighter side of life. And I feel that this will help you with this acceptance and health card here. Um, just laughing about it. Okay. Um, that's going to be, a, a tool for you, especially when you start to get or feel pressured, um, in life and with responsibilities or other things that might be on your mind or your heart. Um, what else for Aries? <clears throat> we got a, somebody who's mature in age. Okay. So some of you guys, there's something about, okay, there may be something here. Ooh, you got, okay. Somebody from a past life, darker than lighter skin, um, a dark male. Okay. 
They could be mature, older in age, or just really mature here. So there's a strong male presence coming through. And yes, you've have um, you've had a past life. You know, this is a past love of yours. Um, what do you want Aries to know about this, though? <laughs> Let's get more about this. What do you want Aries to know about this past life, knowing past love, mature man? You're calling in your soulmate. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. Okay, so some of you, okay, so you guys with this dark male, uh, it's, you know, darker than lighter. So even if they are got white skin, they may just be darker than like whatever their race or nationality is. So darker than lighter. Anyhow, mature man, older in age, past life. There's something strong about you calling in a soulmate here. So um, I know that it's like these males here, but um, you know, you can switch this to a female though too because what's happening is there's something about you noticing some few characteristics here but yeah you're calling in your soulmate because your prayers and your affirmations and visualizations help bring you together and also these could be connectors that lead to the the soulmate of yours okay oh my goodness there'll be a sense of like remembrance here with someone uh what else for aries peace just be at peace yeah i feel a lot of you guys you're really overcoming um hard times okay and if you're currently feeling some struggles aries um just start doing things that you know you can take control of right now um and be strong here because you know you really are moving on and be on um, those challenges, right? And it's only helping you guys to learn and come to peace with things um, because you're starting to really be in tuned with figuring things out as as far as, um, you know, uh, if something didn't work out, it's going to happen in another way, in another form. It's going to come to you, okay? What else for Aries? And I do feel a lot of you Aries have really matured in a situation, um, you know, naturally here because it was a lot to learn. Um, okay, surrender your need to figure things out or control too much of something or someone. Okay, some of you guys, this codependency is really trying to do things too much on your own, um, maybe controlling another or an outcome here. You know, you can only do so much Aries and then um, give it up, right? Just let it go and, and surrender here. The more you surrender and be at ease and peace with yourself, the more that you're going to feel um, flow into your life here and trust more, okay? And, and just remember, the best is yet to come. Ooh! Okay, what else for Aries? Freedom. Oh my goodness. Guys, yeah, you, you have to choose freedom in some way here. So some of you Aries, just open yourself up to something here because, you know, again, try to find areas in your life where you can relieve some pressure, okay, um, or open yourself up some more time or room here or um, letting go of trying to just figure things out because something is naturally happening here with attracting those people who serve your higher good, especially in relationships, okay? And I feel that these relationships will give you more sense of that freedom and encouragement and support, yet be very stable and supportive. Uh, what else for Aries? Love yourself and see, you see yourself in everyone. And we got the pride card, Aries. So um, Spirit is saying, don't underappreciate yourself and the things that you have um, received, that you have earned, that you just have. Um, and the things that, you know, you're proud of, be proud of yourself, Aries. I really get sun card with this. So there's something about you guys being proud of yourself um, and not underappreciating uh, the value that you have, okay? Because there's something about um, some of you, you may not notice or you may just, you know, you may not take enough time to really see how far you've come and 
You know, when you can be proud of yourself, then it's easy to be uh, proud of others for their own accomplishments, okay? So I see you guys really being in a place of fine tuning what it is that you need to do to, to hit your mark and your goals um, and have more balance in your life and being proud of yourself. Uh, what else for Aries? Love. <laughs> so just commit to being being that, that energy of love, okay? Replace uh, fear or worry with love if you can, but I do see you committing to love here, okay? I mean, we have wedding, we have trust. I commit to the practice of seeing good in all things, okay? Because this is what's gonna reflect back to you um, in your own reality. Um, so continue to be that energy of love because you've got a commitment in love, okay? It's gonna happen for you, Aries. What else for Aries? Oh, look at this, Aries. Spiritual signs of inclination. You're walking through passages of your transformation. Yeah, really get like death card here too. But most importantly, you are walking through your passage of your own transformation here um, by learning that you just accepting whatever has gone on. And I feel a lot of you guys have done that and you're continuing to do that. This is what's allowing some new doors to open and also allowing what needs to transform with you because I am seeing, you know, you becoming more brilliant and radiant because of that growth. What else for Aries? I feel like this card, we should look at that card in a minute. <laughs> what else for Aries? See, Aries, there's something about you coming into higher levels of commitment with yourself, with your higher self, God, Jesus, and yes, your love life, okay? Some of you guys, you know, just prepare. You, you could be finding your life partner here or, um, you know, just really uh, being stable and secure for one another for a long time to come, whatever fits your uh, situation, so your love life, I mean, look at this, committing to the practice of love because you've got a commitment and love um, on the horizon if you don't have that currently because destiny, see, one door closed, one door opens. We're just this card of acceptance. Oh, look at this. One door closes, another opens for you. Ooh, let the plans of destiny unravel true. Mm let it you how you let it is to continue to not try to figure it out or control too many things you know what you can control right and then you know when you need to let go because it'll feel like a struggle um, and that's when you need to release here because this is how you allow it to unravel true for you uh what else for aries making the effort so aries some of you guys already know yeah there's something strong about a past life relationship. You've known each other before. So, um, cause some of you guys, it could, yeah, we're, we'll get a little bit more too. Cause some of you, you may need to, cause this, oh yeah, this is showing up again, isn't it? Oh, I, oh, you know what Aries, you guys had a past life with, um, uh, at least two uh, people showing up here. <laughs> one could have been mature in age, older in age. Um, one could have been uh, darker um, or just had darker skin here in some sense, okay? Um, yeah, these are past loves from past life. <laughs> um, so, you know, oh gosh, okay, we'll get more too. But yeah, anyhow, because I'm seeing the situation where you're letting go and allowing something to happen here okay and time will reveal the truth when it comes to um, what's unfolding just hold on hold on um, let's get more about uh, making the effort let's get more about making the effort take care of yourself as best as you can Aries as best as you can Because you do deserve love. <laughs> uh, it's going to strike, okay? Something beautiful is going to happen in your love life. Believe it because you're lovable. So whatever you're feeling to, you know, take steps towards that help you bring or just helps lighten your energy, do it. Just do it, okay? Maybe for some, there may be something here with, um, you know, exercise and nutrition or, or something like that, okay? And that's always a good thing. 
Um, let's get a little bit more too with this past life relationship. Because I already know what's going on here, but we'll get more. Let's get more with this past life relationship. There's definitely a lot of passion and chemistry there. Let's get a little bit more with this past life relationship. Oh my gosh, you guys. Well, yeah, no, no wonder. Oh my goodness. It's yeah, your twin flame. So some of you guys, you've gone through some, what feels like real tremendous lessons in relationships. It's only helping you guys come into a situation where you really truly see the divine in another something just is not naturally fits here okay um this is a very strong twin soul i call it twin mate your twin mate okay there's there's gonna be no denying um this attraction because it's a spiritual alignment okay and yes some of you you've gone through some very karmic situations and relationships but it's leading you guys to a beautiful place in union within yourself and another and the world around you so this is big big good things that's happening here remember oh my goodness yes you are not finished you are not yet done dig deeper and deeper the best is yet to come and hold on because your twin mate is on the way because i feel that twin flame is gets too um it's labeled and there's just too many other people's definitions and it really needs to just ring true for you and the best way to know this is that there it's just going to feel a lot more it's going to feel effortless it's going to feel like a spiritual alignment um it's natural to forgive to heal uh you know there, it's just a it's a twin mate uh, okay, what else for Aries? Now, some of you Aries, you may need to be open to that. This could be someone that is coming from your past, too. Um, this twin, because it's a car, you know, karmic uh, things that have happened between you two. Because you're actually releasing... Uh, the karmic energy that surrounds you because you're both very powerful, beautiful uh, light beings. Um, and all you got to do is to attract romantic love is just be in the moment. Get out of your head, get in your heart as much as possible, Aries. Don't allow circumstances, the people, the past, the money to control you. Take control by enjoying your moment because you're choosing to. You're going to give all of your energy and your attention to yourself here because when you're out of your head and into your heart and into life, you are attracting romantic love and you're um, a lot more attractive, okay? You're just radiating this gem and this is where that point of attraction happens here, okay? What else for Aries? You guys are going to be enjoying your time with someone here, Aries, okay? So possess the power and um, possess the power and the free will to create your own happiness, okay? And trust that when it comes to your love life and when it comes to finances, career, you got to keep trust in here. There's something that's happening here, okay? And you're moving into a situation where you're going to be enjoying the the bliss of holiday time together and blissing out on each other here, maybe taking it easy, okay? And also for some of you, Aries, you might just be finding yourself blissing out um, during this time of passage here, okay? Because it is bringing you to a place of honeymoon sweet. What else for Aries? Okay, yeah, forgiveness, acknowledging that harboring resentment blo blocks the flow of love. I feel a lot of you are coming into this awareness. This is why a lot of you are finding uh, and summoning power to gain control back, okay? Um, because you are in a place of forgiveness and you're opening your heart up because um, you're having a realization here that the only thing that this um, will hinder is your own progress, 
right? And it doesn't mean we condone others, but we can come to a place of just uh, being easy on ourselves. And some of you, you might be having a hard time forgiving yourself for something in the past here, right? But, um, you know, I encourage you to continue to do that and not um, allow yourself to be controlled by the past and even the future, right? Just, uh, I would say, don't be controlled by the past or the future or money or people here, right? Um, and just be in that place of, you know, of your heart, because your heart will know how to um, correct any imbalances or how to hear another out or come to a place of understanding and enlightenment, okay? You just need to trust, Aries, you've done a lot of work, actually, to come to a place where you're attracting your twin um, mate here, <laughs> okay? What else for Aries? Yep, it's going to be an unknown person or a person that you do know. Um, some of you guys, it could be in pass by or it's just going to happen soon. So a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Um, yeah, it's your, it's your person here. Okay, so um, follow those feelings, okay? Uh, follow your heart. Some of you guys um, stay strong and true to yourself here. Um, have a little fun because you do have new love. <laughs> because you're in a place of compassion and love, it's just expanding your heart, which is attracting, what is it? Uh, attracting um, uh, those people who serve your higher good. Your twin mate. <laughs> what else? Release your ex. See, there is. See, there's a partner here we got to release. It feels like a strong bond because you've had a past life with someone here. Okay. Um, and I encourage, not all of you Aries, but just encourage some of you Aries to not label someone, um, you know, these like a twin flame. or It's the experience that you're coming and enjoying here. Um, and you, you'll, you'll just know, Aries. You, you'll, you'll just know. Um because you're already uh, in progress of receiving this alignment. It's already aligning here. So the more that you can release your ex, uh, old agreements and commitments that no longer serve you, the better you're gonna be. And maybe for some, it's just been wreaking havoc in your head. Maybe it's been ruminating here, right? But the time has come to clear energy and just continue to uh, keep it clear, right? It's, it's just like with anything, we have to brush our teeth to keep our teeth clean. We have to, you know, continue to upkeep the house or the lawn or, you know, other things before they get overgrown and they overtake us. Okay. So I'm seeing you guys just allowing yourself the freedom to clear your space, your energy. Okay. And old things from your ex here. Okay. There's going to be a card. Let's get more about this uh, releasing your ex. Let's get more about releasing this ex. And this is part of that great love is worth, you know, taking here those steps. And as hard as it may be, Aries, you're going to allow yourself freedom and you're going to allow yourself to move into an energy of um, lightness, happiness, okay? Let's get a little bit more about this. Oh, you know what I want I'm I want to say, Aries is be willing to release things, people, your ex, whatever it is that are not suited for you as a partner. Let's see. Let's get a little bit more with release your ex for Aries. It's it's keeping you from hmm I can see it's keeping you guys held back in a way. It's it's even causing some of you not to go out and go for it and be noticed. I mean, you're becoming or are this wallflower or believe in limited potential because some of you are playing with the idea that you have to settle because you're not seeing or getting what it is that you want right now or you're questioning something, but it's causing you to hold back and be shy so continue releasing and be open and free yourself here. And don't worry about your love life because your prayers, your affirmations, and your visualiz visualizations are bringing you together. It's called spiritual alignment. Mm. Ooh, what else? 
let go of control, trying to figure it out. <laughs> I know. Just, you know, allow yourself to be easy about it. Uh, you know, you got to just enjoy the journey, right? Don't uh, try to control someone or something here. Okay. Or some of you guys, it's like, I, I can see some of you areas like feeling like you have to do everything on your own. So you may need to just try to delegate. Um, what else for Aries? Honesty. Yeah, this is a time to be real honest with yourself because you guys are uh, opening up a, a place of solid uh, foundation here with something. Um, you can't always expect the truth from others, but you can expect it from yourself. And this is where you guys are at this point of attraction, right? Just being uh, one with all things right now and accepting what's happened here. And some of you, you felt like there wasn't honesty in the past. So, you know, didn't we have that card of unrequited love? Like there was something about honesty with that, right? And you've had to learn a lot here. But the more honest that you can be, even if some of you guys with a hard conversation with someone, I encourage you to be in a place of love and compassion, honesty and understanding, um, and really speak your truth. Even if it seems hard to speak it because you don't want to hurt someone's feelings, but holding that in is not really good either. Okay. Um, and you might be surprised because there might be a lot to uh, learn from that and open up from that. But at the same time, you're drawing in some type of um, you know, wealth here or more abundance into your life, receiving the resources you need um, and getting what you desire in the physical reality. And I see a lot of you guys, this is where you're at right now. So I'm really proud of you. Continue walking this path of being a true gem, a true light. Okay. Uh, let's see. What else for Aries? Okay, that's it for those. So let's find out, uh, Aries, how spirit is helping you. How is spirit helping Aries? <laughs> With indecision, oh, helping you get out of your head, getting into your heart and out of your, you know, get into maybe your physical senses because there's focus on health. Um, maybe for some of you Aries too, there may be something here about aging or health that, you know, you just are accepting and honoring and continue and will continue to take care of yourself because when you're committed to love and love is committed to you, you can only thrive in that, that energy. Okay. So spirit is helping you guys use your intuition and trusting it. Okay. The more you use it and practice, the better you get at it. Um, so spirit is helping you guys really figure out and use discernment here, um, especially if you've been feeling indecisive or overwhelmed, or if you come into a place where you have to make a strong decision, just know that spirit is helping you with that, okay? Let's get one more for what's, how spirit's helping you too. And judgment, okay, yeah, letting go, having a second chance. Some of you guys, you might be judging yourself and really um, coming to a place of letting go of regret, Okay, that you can't change the past here. Spirit's helping you guys um, keep your head up and know that you're having what seems like a second chance at something here. Um, and understanding that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. I just see spirits really helping you guys um, just let go of what, you know, thoughts, beliefs, judgments of yourself and others um, because it's only going to help you guys radiate. Okay and uh, have more understanding and compassion and get those things that you truly desire. And that's um, coming to you because, you know, this is about letting the plans of destiny unravel true. Love and light. Take care, Aries.